one of the major changes on the new fighter jet. Produced by Safran, the M88 turbofan engine is compact, consumes less fuel, and develops seven and a half tons of thrust. If you compare it to an ordinary car, it's 15,000 horsepower. That's really something. Another key advantage, the turbine can be exchanged in less than an hour by three mechanics, whereas it took an entire day on the Mirage 2000. Time spent on maintenance is thus reduced to a minimum. As for the pilots, there's an unusual feature they had to adapt to. The stick between the knees is gone. It's replaced by two joysticks. You can tell there's been tremendous work done on the home system interface, the HIS. Meanwhile, it seems absolutely natural to me to have my hands on either side of my body, controlling the throttle with my left hand and maneuvering the plane with my right. A central computer analyzes the plane's handling. It can instantly rectify a change in direction that's too abrupt and endangers the plane's structure or may cause it to stall. The safety of the crew is one of the fundamental features of the Rafale. That's why the cabin is one of the most complex parts of the aircraft. The seat allows instantaneous extraction from the aircraft, at zero speed, as well as at very high speeds. The Rafale's latest generation ejection seat is a concentrate of technology. It's made up of more than 3,000 parts. Everything is done to eject the crew as fast as possible in case of a crash.